Our first example comes from cells and tissues, looking specifically at stem cell therapy. Let's go back to why 10 drugs were withdrawn from the market. These days, as I said, developing a drug can cost billions of euros. There are many reasons why drugs fail and fail more often for women. One reason is that most research is done in males, whether humans, animals, or cells and tissues. This study was done in 2011 by some of our colleagues at Berkeley. It shows the sex of the animals used in research. The blue indicates that males are used more than females in all areas except reproduction. But what I'm interested in is the gray area, where the sex of the animal was not recorded. This is research money wasted. You might as well throw it out the window. A similar study was done at Mayo Clinic on cells and tissues also in 2011. And look at the gray area. The sex of the cell is almost never reported. Again, this is research money wasted. Let's look at stem cells and let me take you to our website. Here you see the methods that are tools for researchers. And here you see our case study in buckets. And I'm going to go to science and stem cells and then to full case study. Why might the sex of the cell be relevant? Researchers show that there are sex differences in the therapeutic capacity of stem cells. This slide shows stem cells taken from muscle tissue and indicates that female cells are more regenerative or active than male cells. Yet very few researchers consider the sex of the cell. We have a world-class researcher at Stanford doing some research on Parkinson's disease using all female stem cells. This is an arbitrary decision on her part, and it means that in the discovery phase, she will not see anything unique to male stem cells, nor will she and her team detect important differences in function between male and female cells. Not considering the sex of the cell can lead to failed research. An international team from Norway and Australia worked with stem cells in mice. They appropriately used male and female mice. Using both animals in basic research is excellent design. But they used all female stem cells. Again, this was an arbitrary and unconscious decision. The result was that their male mice died and they didn't know why. Eventually, through a gendered innovations workshop in Norway, the team realized they should consider also the sex of the stem cells. They found that sex matching of donor and recipient yielded the best result. So the idea is that you match. They found that matching the male to male and the female to female yielded the best result. But all combinations should be tested before being ruled out. But of course, it's never that easy. In addition to analyzing sex, we need to bring in another gendered innovations method, analyzing factors intersecting with sex. In the case of stem cells, these factors may include cell type, the disease being treated, and other variables, hormonal, immunological, and environmental.